My name is Zemaira Shaina Roda Mbaka Mlemi. First born makes daddy happy. I am a leader, the princess. Let's just... Let's pray. Oh God, we thank you for our parents. We thank you for our teachers. We thank you for our pastors. We thank you for DVBS week. We thank you for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Amen. Praise God, church. Let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Oh God, we thank you for this day with gratitude in our heart. We thank you that you have bring us. We thank you for the church. We thank you that we are finishing the DVBS. We thank you for the leadership. We thank you for our pastors and our guardians and our parents. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Praise God, church. My name is Sandra Chapozgi, and I will go on and pray for you. Oh, God, our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for the people who are sick in the hospital. We pray for our parents. We pray for the parents who brought the children to DVBS. And we thank you for the whole week for DVBS until today. Even when we finish our DVBS today, and we pray for our pastors who build this church. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Praise God once again. My name is Amanda Talai Koche and I, and I want to pray for us. Let's bow down for prayer. Our Father, thank you for this day. Bless all the countries in this world. Bless, bless, bless the governors, the deputy president, the bishop, and everyone. Bless Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and, and other and other countries. Bless even the bless even the teachers and the parents. Bless even the the bishops and and the governors. In for a moment to pray in Jesus' name I pray.
Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people, but the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters are carried on the hip. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth from the seas will be brought to you. To you the riches of the nations will come. Hearts of camels will cover your land. Young camels of Midian and Hepha. And the all of Sheba will come bearing gold and incense and proclaiming the ways of the Lord. All of Kiddos' flocks will be gathered to you. And the rams of Nibelius will be accepted as offerings on my altar. And, and I will adorn my glorious temple. temple. Who, Who are these that fly along, along like clouds, like dust to their nests? Surely their islands will look, look to me. me. On the lead and the ships of Tarshish, bring, bring your children with their silver and gold, with their gold and silver, and to the honor of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendor. Foreigners will rebuild your walls, and their kings will serve you. Though in anger, in anger I struck you, but in favor I show you compassion. Your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut day or night, or night so, so that the men may live the wealth of the nations. The nation. And the, the kings are led to a triumphal procession. For the nation or the kingdom that will not serve you will perish. It will be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you. The truly part, the fine the sides that I together, together and to adorn my sanctuary, and I will glorify the place of my feet. The, the children of your oppressors will serve you. Those who despise you will bow down at your feet, and will call you the city of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been hated and unhated, with no one traveling through, I will make you the everlasting pride and the joy of all the nations. You will drink milk of nations and be last at royal breast. For I am I, the Lord, I will make you. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Instead of bronze, I'll give you gold, silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I'll give you bronze, and iron in place of stones. I will we'll make, make peace, peace your governor and righteousness your ruler. Your ruler. No, no longer will violence be heard in your land, no nor ruin or destruction within your borders. The sun will no longer, longer be like light your day, and the brightness of the moon shine on you. you. But I your will sun will never set again, nor ruin no the brightness of your moon. moon, 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 moon. No, will your moon wane no more, but I, the Lord, will be everlasting light, and your days of sorrow will end. Then all your people will become righteous and possess the land forever. They are the shoots that I have planted, the work of my hand, for the display of my splendor. The least will become a thousand, the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord. In its time, I will do this swiftly. Thank you. Uh, children, uh, do you want our parents to, to recite Isaiah chapter 60, just five verses? Parents, parents kindly stand up and we recite. Yes. All parents, our mamas and babas, all parents, we are reciting Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 5. No, not reading the Bibles. We never read the Bibles. Okay, now, boys and girls, our mamas and babas have said next Sunday they will recite, okay? Let's appreciate the children once more time. Hallelujah. It's not very easy, but parents, thank you so much for bringing them to DVBS every day. When DVBS began, there was a crisis fuel crisis in town, and we were like, now they will not come. And we were also not doing transport. But do you know we had close to 1,000 children here right from Monday? Let's give God all the honor and glory. Hallelujah. And Psalms 127 says, like, that, just the way 
the arrows are in uh, now teacher Agnes can't even recite Psalms 127 verse 11 now blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them you know some are like the arrows in a man's quiver and blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them see term Eldoret we are blessed aren't we blessed with boys and girls and I'm telling you, mothers, I've started giving birth to twins, twins, twins. This is very good. God bless you. So blessed is the church that is full of children. Because we have the church now, and we have the church tomorrow. So we want to appreciate even the leadership of this assembly for making sure that everything had to take place, and it had to take place very well. So thank you, Senior, and your team, and the other leadership in general. Hi, church. Hi, children. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? My name is Ella. Today, being DVBS Sunday, we are going to learn about Arise and Shine. With me here, I have a team of friends, and they are going to introduce themselves from my far left. Yes, Kiki Kipara, that's my name. Hi, children. Hi, children. Hi, church. My name is Hannah. Oh, my name is Hannah. Hi, church. Hello, children. My name is Elder Jane. Oh. Hi, church. Hi, children. Are you happy? One, two. My name is Elsie. Hello, church. I'm Billy the Bully. Hello, church. Hello. I am John. Hello, children. Hello, church. My name is Jonathan. Hello, children. Hi. Hello, church. My name is James. Hope you enjoy. Pancho. Bill, 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 Hey, 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 hey. It's class time, not playground time. Can you keep quiet? Where? Hannah, Shidako ni nini. You like sticking your nose in people's things. Kuingili angili adu. Nani yame ni rushia pepa? Why are you doing that? Can you keep, can you sit down and settle down? Mwenye yame ni rushia pepa mungu wa kuone. Aha. Man, I look good. Hey, 
Na hii kipara yangu. Ah, acha ndunge kawimbo. Kipara, kipara, nani ka kipara? Eh, naona hii itakuwa hit Kenya. Acha niende hivi. Wase chekini kipara na kuja class na hata ana nyole moja kwa kichwa. Ah, we. Mama ngo aliambia na ka smart. Kichwa inakaa desert. Eh, mama yako alikudanganya basi. Jamu kichwa ina 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 reflect. We ulinyolewa na nini panga? Alinyolewa na jembe. Ah, huyu alinyolewa na shoka huyo. Wala hiyo no solar system. Ina ni reflect, guy. Nachomeka. Wewe 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 that's not nice. Stop bullying him. Stop. Imagine namfanya askia vibaya. Nyamazini please. Have you, Have you seen his head? head? Huh? Have you seen his head? No, no, that's not right. Bullying is wrong. It's not right in the eyes of the Lord. Ah, whatever. You don't you guys don't know how to have fun. Ah, welcome to the dark world, bana. In our lesson today, we are called to arise and shine. From, from your behavior, are you shining? Yes, I will shine his kipara so that when he stands up, he'll be arising and shining. Hey, 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 stop being a bully. We are children of God called to shine. We must pray, we must light our candle and let our light shine. John. Sadeo kipara tuwezi shainisha. So everything that is fun is not allowing God's light to shine. Yes. L- life will be so boring. Yes. This year we want to radiate God's glory. We want to allow God's light to shine and where God's light is there is no darkness. Ah, how can you shine his kipara in a godly way? If you want to shine his kipara in a godly way, then become a baba. And kimulika toch. Ai apara hiyo ni vibaya. And by the way, James has something to say. Can you listen to him? You are to be God's agent among our peers and still enjoy by doing the right thing at the right time. So, fa- football is fun when played outside where it will not break anyone's window. Is that okay? Yes. But you keep a rackel as much to pick a coffee, kid dog. I, Jonathan, stop being a bully. Watch out, come on, be for Namu Miza, Mambia Pole. I, you keep a rass young and you are evil. Apana, no, say sorry to him. Jonathan, oh, oh, yeah, keep a dole. You experience life better when you are not high from drugs or alcohol. And if you see anyone either smoking or taking drugs or alcohol, you should tell them to stop because they will destroy your life. There is so much evil around us, but as Christians, we should arise and shine the light of God into everywhere. We are so that the forces of darkness are defeated. Let us concentrate ourselves by asking forgiveness over dark acts and deeds and recite the memory verse of today. Children, look at the screen. We are going to read from the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16. You'll repeat after me. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl and put it under a bowl instead they put it on its stand instead they put it on its stand and give its light to everyone in the house and give its light to everyone in the house in the same way in the same way let your light shine before others Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds that, that they, they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven and glorify your father in heaven children did you enjoy did you learn a lesson church did you learn a lesson too okay that's our time bye Let me ask all the pastors, the elders just to come and stand here. 
We want to bless our children. We want to pray for them in the name of Jesus. This is the only time I can introduce my elders and my pastors in the congregation. And I believe that will be a blessing as we move forward. Elder Rono, just lift up your hand. Elder Jane. Elder Laktabai. Elder Beatrice. Elder Wambua. Elder Agnes. Elder Philip. Elder Maleche, Deaconarina, Pastor Patrick, Pastor Judy, Pastor Buire, Pastor Ibrahim. Amen. So I want you to stretch your hands. Children, can you stand wherever you are? We want to pray for you. Children, just stand. We want to pray together with you this morning. We are praying that God will protect you, God will rescue you, God will locate you as you grow from one glory to another. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, the Great I Am, the Creator of heavens and the earth, our children are standing this morning. And as you lead us in this congregation, we want to speak a word of blessing upon every last one of them. We speak a edge of protection around them in the name of Jesus, that no weapon forged against our children shall stand in the mighty name of the Lord. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. As they grow, may they grow in the fear of the Lord. May they grow loving you, O oh God. And as you do this to our children, we will appreciate you, O oh God. We pray for good memory. We pray for good health. We pray for favor in their various schools, O oh God. May our children experience that a balance favor in the name of the Lord. As a leadership, we bless our children and we speak a hedge of protection around them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the people say, Amen. You can have your seat leadership. God bless you very, very much. It is my honor now to bring to us the servant of God. Boys and girls, are we in the house? What was our theme this year? Radiating. From which book? Amen. Amen. Today we are blessed to have a man of God, loaded, ready, prepared to share the word of God. So I want to put your hands together as I breathe Calvin to come and share with us the word of God. In Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we thank you for Calvin. He is the instrument you have given us this day. Lord, use him as a mouthpiece to this congregation. And Lord, at the end of this service, all praise and honor will be back to you. We thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Moko Azima. My name is Calvin Mwangi. I am born again and favored of the Lord. I am in class seven, heading to eight. I study here at Sitam Schools, Eldoret. Yeah, visit us. You can feel at church. Yeah. And I am your preacher this Sunday. This year's DVBS, which was radiating his glory from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, which says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Just hold on, we shall be coming to this later on. DVBS, which stands for Daily Vocational Bible Study, is a time where primary school going children gather in church for a week or month long to study the Bible among other activities like games, puppetry, music, and dances. As mentioned, I hope you have got a glimpse of what we did, and we are grateful to Sitam Eldoret Children Ministry for giving us a week to learn God's word. The following were the topics we learned on each day. 
Number one, God who restores. Go, about that one, we can relate from Job's story and how God restored twice what he had. Day two, God who bestows honor. We can relate from Mordecai's story and how he warned King success of how he was about to be assassinated. Peace beyond borders. That one, we can look at Daniel's story and how he rested peacefully in the den of lions. Day four, God of new beginnings. That one we can look, we can relate from the story of Esther and how she was changed from an orphan to a queen. Day five, arise and shine for our light has come. That one is aligned with our theme for this year, DBS 2022. But, uh, but today, allow me to preach to you about what we learned on day five. Arise and shine for your light has come. Let's read Isaiah chapter 60. Verse 1. The Bible says, NB, the Bible says, you don't say it says because it's not a book like any other. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Now, just imagine you are seated the way we are seated like this. Then clashes fall on us, but you don't know where your loved ones are. More often, that's not what we get wisely in situations that need attention and calls us to arise. I remember there was a time that Pastor Sarah was telling us that the news is not just a clip that you watch and go to bed. It's God speaking to us saying, we need to do something. And I remember her saying, can we do this? Can we do this? Okay. Now, tell your neighbor, arise. arise. Tell your neighbor, arise. arise. I cannot see you. Tell your neighbor, arise. arise. Good. To arise is to call awake from slumber or to move from one position. Now, tell your neighbor, shine. shine. Tell your neighbor, shine. shine. Now, to shine is to glow. To glow, to show light in the darkness, for example. Now, what are some positions where the world, church, family, or individuals are in darkness? Consider the Russia and Ukraine war. People are fleeing. The other day in news, we had a woman walking barefoot from, uh, from such a larger distance to Portugal. Consider the fuel crisis in Kenya last week. Consider the forthcoming elections in Kenya and the non-tribalism and nepotism. Now, this one, all you are praying for is peace, because peace is all you want. Consider many family wrangles. Faali wa wili wa piganapo, nyasi ndi zo umia. Nyasi ndi onani wazazi? Good. So, consider the rising cases of street children. That can also go, like, that can also go in hand with the... The fourth one. These are darkness. But there was the plural of darkness. <laughs> okay. These are darkness. And we need to arise. Unless we arise, we cannot be the salt and light God has called us. About Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 3, which says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. So about Isaiah, Isaiah was a prophet who lived during the time when the children of Israel were being taken to exile, struck captivity. They had sinned against God, and he was angry with them. Isaiah saw a vision of how God was going to restore them back after the exile. Life must have been hard for them, with no near hope for freedom. This can be compared to a dark period. God promised them the Holy Spirit who would dwell with and in them, and so they should arise and shine in the midst of the darkness that was in the land for the 70 years they were in captivity. Man, that's a lot of years. Now, God poured out his glory upon them so that the whole world will see. He called on them to forsake their sins and live righteous lives 
so that the light of God would radiate or shine in their lives. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, learned that in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus taught us the importance of letting his light shine in our lives. Letting his light shine in our lives. When, wherever Jesus' light is, the, we are not in darkness. The darkness I'm speaking of is sin. One, you are the light of the world. Jesus wants us to know him and tell others about him too, so that others also may know him. Believing in him gives us joy and peace. When our hearts are joyful, we are able to relate well with those around us. Believing in Jesus also gives us power over sin and Satan's works, which is darkness. When we do good things to others, we become like the lamp that shines bright light to everyone around us. Even when you just do a small good thing, you would have, you you have radiated God's glory. And amen. Yeah, amen. He also wants us to preach the gospel in Gili to others so that they too would receive his light. Jesus is the light of the world, and when we believe in him, the light of God shines in us, and we are no longer in darkness, which is sin. Two, you are a city on a hill. Ancient cities were often placed on hills to offer greater defense and safety. So when danger was there, you would look at that hill and say, I know where to flee. Now, about this one, people could see them from far away and knew where to flee if danger came. That's what I just said. In the same way, your life should reflect the light to all who are in darkness to see light. To see light, those in danger to find safety, and those hurting to find healing. How can we become the light of God to the world? The candle that Jesus has lit in our heart can become a light to the whole world. And others seeing our good works can be led to glorify our Father in heaven and emulate in their own lives the examples they observed in us. Okay, let's say this is a torch. Let's assume this is a torch. It's not a torch. Let's assume it's a torch. Now, it's upside down. When you turn it on, it's still not doing anything right. And when you put it here, it's still not doing anything right. So, this torch of mine, it needs to arise, then you turn it on, and then shine. Now, how to arise? I like this one. Pray. Number two, go to church. What is a church? Okay, good. A church is a community of believers. A community of believers. When believers meet together, not a building. Have fellowship like SG, a Bible club, and so on. Be the salt and light of the earth by seasoning the dark situation. Nani amei kula mboga imekosa chumfi. It is tasteless, right? And it tastes horrible, right? And what about you area in darkness? Can you see anything? Yeah, all is is black. Yeah, thank you. Be the salt and light of the earth by seasoning the dark situation. Seasoning the dark situation here means having hope when there isn't any hope. Listen, people. There is a difference between arising and shining. I just defined it here. One can own gold but yet not be of value until the gold is utilized. Now, I just come and put my money here and not use it. It can say, unless decoration. So, we need to shine in the darkness. That is shining. We need to move from one position and take action. That is to arise. We need to be distinct just like stars are distinct at night. When the day is over and the night is coming, the stars arise, they arise and then they start glowing. Right? Do good. Yeah, just be good. Why be bad? It won't help with anything. Fighting is not the solution to, uh, to any problem. Love your neighbors. Neighbors see Majirani wa ploti buwana. Our neighbors are, is anyone in need? Right, church? I can't hear, right, church? Okay, thank you. Preach the word. 
reconcile the lost world to God. How comes Christians are not arising and shining? How comes we do have a lot of hope in the church, yet Christians are supposed to be the best in the world? Why are people hiding their identity in the society? Now, in this context, we mean Christ-like character. Christ-like character is like goodness, meekness, perseverance, etc. That, that means that Unana, even like Jesus' disciples, they will look at the disciples and, and say he's acting like Jesus. I think that's what they mean here. Conclusion. As we have learned today, God calls us to arise and let our light shine because there's a lot of darkness in the world. He wants us to offer light to those in darkness so that they can see light, especially the light of salvation. Sometimes we hear pastors saying, how many are not born again? If you're not born again, lift your hand, please. God is watching. So I think that's what they mean by the light of salvation. There are many people who are hurting spiritually, not physically hurting, wounded, physically hurting, but spiritually is way in here. And God wants us to love those that are feeling rejected and those that are wounded and hurting so that his light can shine through us and that they can find hope in him. Thank you so much, and may God bless you. Have I? Wait. Have I touched someone? Lift, lift, lifted up thy hands. That's a good number. Thank you so much. God bless you.